Have you ever wanted to play a game where your crazy religious mother tries to kill you so you run into the basement and also you're a naked toddler and you just find stuff and attach it to your body until you're super deformed and powerful also you fight with your tears? Yeah, me either. Who would have thought it would have become one of my favorite games? I didn't, but here we are. So The Binding of Isaac, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. It's very fun, very addictive, and pretty simple. On the other hand, it's got a lot of themes of religion and abuse that really just kind of bring you down once you start thinking about them. So I tend to not think about it, play the game, and have fun. The Binding of Isaac is a twisted flash game in which you play as Isaac, the titular toddler who escapes his mother's wrath after she hears that she is supposed to kill him according to a voice in her head that she assumes is God. So yeah, already starting off on just the happiest of notes. Did I mention you fight with your tears? Yeah, that's not a metaphor. It's not like Undertale where you're using your feelings. It's literally you are crying at the enemy until they die. And the enemy is grotesque. Just the thought of some of these enemies is kind of disturbing. I mean, spiders, sure. You're a toddler. Spiders are probably scary. But there's some, like, humanoid sort of creatures down there, and... I mean, it's creepy to think of, because... Are those, like, your brothers, or... I don't know. Your mom... She has a pretty gross basement, let's be honest. I mean, my parents had an unfinished basement, but this is like, unfinished. Putting that aside, the bulk of the gameplay comes from going through randomly generated rooms in which you will find enemies, or keys, or hearts, or something. As you proceed through levels and floors, you will find upgrades. I don't know what compels this toddler to put them on? but you will attach them to yourself, and it, it makes you grotesque. You look pretty horrid by the end of it, because they're not fun upgrades. Like, it's never like, ah, oh, you got a magic wand, now you have a nice fun magic wand. It's like, you got cancer, now you have stronger tears or whatever, and you have a giant tumor sticking out of your head. It's pretty grim, as I mentioned. So, if you're faint of heart for gore or sadness, it's not for you. Not even a little. But, if you can stomach that sort of thing, this game is great. I've logged over a hundred hours in Binding of Isaac, and it feels like every single run was different. Because you don't always get the same power-ups. It's completely random. Sometimes you'll be a walking tank, sometimes you'll be so frail that a few hits and you're dead. That's the aspect of it that makes it so much fun to keep playing over and over again. It's... it's kind of about minimizing the damage. You look at what you have and you try to make the best of it. And it makes for a fun game. Religious messages and content aside, it's just a fun game to play. It's my favorite roguelike ever, and they just... nailed it. I mean... It's fun to play, it's not super hard, you just get it. The only problem I've had with it is that there's so many items that if you don't want to just accept something, you're going to have to look it up on the wiki, because otherwise, you might just ruin your run. But that's part of the fun too. I didn't use a wiki for probably the first 30 hours, and I started to know a lot of the items by then, but there were still ones that I was discovering and unlocking. So, overall, I would give this game a 9 out of 10 for anyone who doesn't like sadness or religious messages in their games, and a 10 out of 10 for people who don't care about that sort of thing. Because, I mean, I'm not squeamish. Uh, I don't particularly care about sadness in video games because, you know, they're not real. But, like, Jesus, man, sometimes just going through this, it's like, God, this poor child, how can I play this? 
And yet I keep coming back for more, because it's that fun. So that's it for this one. My name's Henry, and my channel is The Hen House. You can go there to see more of me and my friends playing games, acting the fool, and just having a good time. I also did another video on this channel for uh, XCOM 2. Go check that out if you have any interest in that game. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my channel.